what are Jared Goff's strengths based yes, on everything yeah. that we've just no, it, it, it's, talked about? You know, when you look at it and you watch the tape and, and you evaluate some of the things that he was doing, even just coming out of Cal, the first thing that you look at just from a physical standpoint with the quarterback, is he a natural thrower of the football? He, he's a natural thrower of the football. He can make the short, the intermediate, the long throws, stands tall in the pocket. When things condense around him, I think he's got a nice natural feel and, and a movement. And the thing that you really like is, is he took some shots last year, and he's a tough player. He's going to keep his eyes down the field. He's not going to watch the rush. So when you flip on the tape, those were the things that you were excited about. When you flip that New Orleans game on last year, he did a lot of good things. He did, down and, yeah. and in, in a very difficult spot to do a lot of good things in. For uh, If I'm not mistaken, that was his first road start. I'm, I'm, I might be off on that yeah, front, but yeah, it was one of his first, Miami, if not. And then it was in New Orleans. Oh, there you go. But, so you would so, know better, obviously, having but, watched all his tape. But, but it was, I'll tell you what, though, you watch him, he's making zero checks versus a zero pressure. You know, he gets the tight end in a protection set, so he's able to make a throw. He hits Tavon Austin on a corner out from the three spot. I mean, he did a lot of things where he's naturally moving. He finds Kendricks for a touchdown. I mean, he did some things that you're like, you know, that, that's exciting to see. And now it's our job as a coaching staff to help him consistently find his rhythm, get comfortable with what he's comfortable with. Because So you know, what, what, what is he comfortable with based yeah. on what fans and the, the Rams might not have seen based on well, the scheme you know, from last year. that's something that we're continuing to evaluate because I think the thing, especially with that position in the spring, you know, I thought he did a nice job progressing each day throughout the off-season program where you get really two mini camps and your 10 OTAs. And I thought he handled the above-the-neck information, got in and out of the huddle, did a really nice job commanding that. And then with the drop-back game, uh, he does a good job. You know, he's got a good feel, and it's just figuring out a way to be consistent, kind of really become an extension of the coaching staff. And when you do that, then you feel really good. And then we have different things that we want to emphasize offensively, but certainly we're going to put a premium on what our guys end up getting really good at. You know, I, I, it's the same thing in the running game. You know, you've got a couple concepts that you want to carry, but when you've got a dynamic player like Todd Gurley, yes. you're going to adjust to what he does best. You know, certain guys run certain schemes a certain way. I'm going to draft him this year. I mean, <laughs> is, it, is it going to be? Because I'm but, playing fantasy football now. Put so it this way. Is, are if you the gonna offseason hurt me? program is a projection, we as a coaching staff feel very good about Todd Gurley, Steve. Okay, because I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a 49ers fan. I can't really yeah. – I don't – I like I like Zeke, but I don't really want to draft him, you know. But, I mean, is this going to hurt my, my draft if I draft him? Because Jeff Fisher screwed it up. So I'm just, you know. I'm excited about Todd. Okay, I like to hear that. I love the wide receivers, but I want to make sure. This is all about me right now. I'm just, just. There is an Ian Smith. Yes, there is. Uh, did you think when you woke up today, Sean McVay, you'd be – have your brain picked for fantasy football advice by Steve Smith. Did I did you? not. Well, I, I actually, when we walked in and I see Steve on the set, I said, oh, this is good, man. I'm, I, I, I had never met Steve. I've always admired his game and the way that he's competed from afar. So this is, this is fun for me. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.